Do you prefer a quarterback who, let's say, um, let's say just won the national championship, uh, is really good on third downs, you know, versus a quarterback that maybe just won the Heisman and is electric with his legs and his and his deep ball, or a quarterback who maybe I don't know uh, turned down allegedly five million dollars to go to a bigger school and, and stayed at. Don't say the name though. Yep. Yeah, is there uh, is there Prospect. is there traits besides you know accuracy uh, that you're when you're looking uh, that you prefer over others? Yeah, first and foremost, what you just described, I think, is a pretty exciting quarterback class. There was, okay, uh, okay, that, hey, that's a good uh, answer. If, if that, that's a good answer. If that does exist, uh, you know, I'm all in. I'm I'm excited about that, and uh, I think that's pretty true uh -huh. as far as when you talk about some of these guys. But I think some of the other traits, um, to me, it's you know the athletic ability, the the ability to make some plays with your feet. Our game has changed. Okay. It's a space game. Uh, people are all over the field. We're, we're trying to yeah. spread defenses out and, and activate one on ones. Spread, you got to yeah. account spread for the out. okay. Moving. You got to like account Washington. for the quarterback for for many of these guys, and and that can be a real factor when you're putting together plays. Uh, How about how cool the jumpsuit is that he works out in? Like JJ McCarthy had that all white. He did. Oh, yeah. So sick. With There's the a smiley face. face. Yeah. I mean, pretty much every day. Everybody nowadays has way more swag than I ever did. All of us. Um, you so I'm, I'm a fan. Did you go of to all, all these pro days? You, you didn't go to that one, did you? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, uh, we're sending Josh McCown. You know, West oh. Phillips ROC. Did he coach one of the other quarterbacks in high there? school? Oh, yeah, Was he, he in Drake Mays? He might have. Okay. Might oh. Have. Wow. We're on. You. That's yeah, telling. You guys, are, you guys have done your work, yeah. man. You guys have done your work. The hell? Yeah, we talk, for, we talk for three hours every single day about <laughs> yeah. something. Okay, so we all, find it. We're certainly fine. But I, you know, I actually used to be one of those. Uh, those quarterback gurus before I got officially coaching involved. with like oh yeah Jordan oh, yeah. Palmer. So I know I know all the tricks. I know who'd you work with? Uh, yeah, I worked with a little bit with Mariota coming out. Okay. Um, hey, so those pro days are bullshit. We've heard because the yeah, you I wouldn't go that those? far because I think you can see a guy spin it and you know they've had the opportunity to to prepare. I, that's why I do like still going to the combine. I know it's becoming uh, less and less of a, uh, you know. Let's not do that. Keep Indianapolis real, please. Yeah, come on. We need you. I would, I would love that. Motivate love the boys. Indy. I got a question for you. Speaking of this specific draft class, it seems like you're one of those guys who you, you think you can get the best out of whoever you're going to be coaching. Is it difficult? And, again, this is just speculation. We don't know if you're going to take a quarterback. So, you know, this is just this Nah, is you definitely there. are, though. That's but why you did But the, that's why you're going to bundle is to go up and get a quarterback. Uh, how hard is it, though, <laughs> when you're looking at these different guys not to, like, kind of fall in love with each one of them and, mm. and be like, oh, well, there's stuff there that I'd be really excited to coach. And, like, is it difficult kind of, like, taking that hat off and being like, okay, well, this – guy would clearly be the best for what my vision is with the offense. Well, I think it's important that if you end up falling in love with multiple quarterbacks in a draft, that's only that's an that's an even better thing, especially when you, you know, you did something like we did to acquire pick 23 really for the flexibility of flexibility. what we think is a really good draft. You know, everybody's making a big <laughs> a big point about the quarterback position. I think that's real. Two picks. Okay. And this is a really deep All right, thank you for that. Little okay. little okay. deep draft. Journalism. I, mean, yeah. I should say very deep draft. I mean, there's you could run a there's could be a scenario where the first defensive player, AJ, as you know, uh, normally that guy's coming off the board in the top five, top four picks. That might happen eight, nine, ten, maybe oh, yeah. eleven. That's a transition of the game, though, don't you think as well? But it's still an uh, impactful player that you've got yeah. an opportunity to select that maybe in other drafts without kind of a quarterback class like this uh, and receivers for that matter. Um, you're looking at, you know, another team drafting that guy before you ever have a chance. So I think the ability to improve our team with those two picks, no matter how it ends up happening, if it's a package or a bundle, like mm -hmm. we like to call it, yep. to go get one guy that we say changes our organization for the future, or, you know, you know, are we in a position where um, we're adding a couple players to our team that that have chances to be long-term impact starters for us? You should get a deal with uh, State Farm. Yeah, progressive bundle. bundle. No, who does State it? Farm? Who MVB. Does? Or isn't that the bundle? Yeah. Bundle it up. That's uh, Patrick Mahomes. Oh, yeah. Is that four? MVB. Yeah, four mm -hmm. words, but it's one word. Yeah, because he bundled the yeah. words. Mm -hmm. They need to get you guys a deal. That needs to happen. Let's see how April plays out. You guys are okay. bundling. We <laughs> heard. Bundling, yeah. Last question here. Connor's got a question for you. Yeah, just something to think about, guys. They call Justin Jefferson JJ, so probably locker room's not big enough for two JJs. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah something get to, him out. Just something to throw, throw that around. To, you clearly haven't been to our locker room there in Egan, man. We got a lot of space for JJ. I think it's number one. Oh! Accuracy, purple jersey. Walked me right into that one. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. Uh, how is your relationship with Quasey? Because I assume, like, the first conversation, hey, 
quarterback that you love, yeah. we're not keeping him. Like, we can't. We we have to pay the greatest wide receiver that the NFL's seen, and we got a couple other guys that we have to pay. Like, yep. How is that relationship back and forth, and what is, like, the combined vision of you two going forward with the, you know, for hopefully the next 20 years? With you yeah, guys? our our relationship's fantastic because it's something we have been working on from day one. You know, there's been a lot of things I've learned from him over these last two years. There's a lot of times that we watch tape together, and, you know, I can – uh, he might view a play completely different of a, of a prospect at a position, and we watch him together, and then all of a sudden, you know, I might say, hey, did you see this part of it or that part of it? And, and he opens up his lens to a whole new, you know, kind of way of looking at that player, and, and that happens time and time again and vice versa. Um, I think the big picture for us is just we're constantly trying to make sure we're making smart decisions as much as you can for the present, but we also have a responsibility to build continue building on something we're really proud of um, in Minnesota. And, and hopefully that can be um, a long-term you know, answer at the quarterback position. We're all excited for that. But at the same time, like I said, I think this draft, um, you know, for a lot of different reasons, I think it's a really deep draft, offensively, defensively. Um, and I think there's going to be a lot of opportunities to improve our team um, in addition to making sure we're taking care of our guys like Justin, who you know, we want to build around. And we think he's a foundational best player at his position. Uh, we want to build around him for a long time because I know there's nothing better than calling plays for that guy. How old are you?